21. Why don't I got it right? 21. Because I'm fresh and I'm able to fresh in myself. Yeah. Not with anybody word but the word of God. Yeah. Fresh in my, you know, my life. Fresh from inside and outside. Yeah. Because if I'm not fresh from inside, I'm not going to go back to my life. I'm not going to get a lot Fresh from inside, <laughs> the chicken is kind of shiny. Yeah. I don't know more niche. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God, somebody. Freshness is important in our Christian life. We're looking at how we can get fresh start before we get to the end of the year. Now, I always ask God, before I cross another year, I have to see what have I done in Shawahi the achievement and the freshness. So, you have to pay attention here because it's very important. It's very important. Ara basa aswal is a rhetorical question here. Few munu bezeki hajal kues raba amu letter fi sela de min sharwa hela sha kisa asi. Is there no hajal raba amu kues hajal kila kwe da kato and ashu raba amu kila hajal. Praise the Hallelujah. Raba amu hajal kues hajal kila. Sometimes you don't tell nobody, but you just know that God has done something good and you celebrate it. It's like a two school of a diamond, Robert at the end of the hair tie. If you had a kid of the girl, poor and poor, now you have given it to me. Shukur and Arabana, you refresh my life. People are looking at me, Kev, Kev, like it. Now they're looking at me differently. Yes. Praise the God. Because God has refreshed you. You pray. Yes. But bring our sister at the end. Because she's the fresh here. I don't got up. Don't got up. Because she's good. Who has to watch and kill him? Praise God. Amen. So see, you know what God has done to your life. That's that's a refresh right there. So what do we mean by refresh our fresh perspective? Fresh perspective. Perspective the caliber Jamil did is the art of drawing solid object somehow as a way of thinking too. You know, the perspective, the way I look at things. And I'm looking at it from different angles as well. Rems is looking at this goofer from different angles. So that requires some time. If offer you have to take a time, look from the lenses. I don't mean Azara Bidam. Then Azara Mushi. If you grab my lenses and put them in the food, push yourself. Like sometimes you have to look from my lenses. Malaysia, you can go to Malaysia, you can go to Malaysia. Let me look from Malaysia lenses. So I can see better than the way I see myself. That is a lot. This is very important. What exactly is the perspective? A perspective is a way of seeing things. The way you see things in your family. The way you see things in your life. The way you see things in your community. The way you see things in your church. Even in your workplace. Praise the Lord somebody. Amen. Perspective of seeing things. A perspective is a way of seeing things. A perspective is a way of seeing our lives. The way we live our life. Hayat Aishim. Hal Hayat Aishu. The Hayat Sehi. Praise the Lord. You have to look at yourself first before you look to somebody's life. Can you catch up? Can we find a bit of? We can get there after the remedy. Can we catch up? Can we find a bit of? We can get there after the remedy. Because that is best. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can we catch up? Can we find a bit of? We can get there after. So you cannot tolerate to bear that pain while you strive to go and get somebody engagement and I'm Shout hallelujah, somebody. Praise the Lord, somebody. That is very important. It is how we see things as they take place in our lives. It is our view of the world and our place in it. Kulusul Mohim fi Alam Arabana Kalam Fo. You have to know that. Lalo, it's a matter of should not say that you are just anything. You are very important. You have a place in Lincoln 
in this church and in this community cannot stand on a body. Amen. Amen. So look at yourself like a somebody. I'm a daughter of the king. I'm a son of the king. Nobody will manipulate me because I have a right here. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Because some that many will bring some nonsense people to confuse you around. Mm. That I keep telling you that you don't belong here. You don't look like you belong to those people here. She got that over here. It's a moment. 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 You belong to this church. You belong to this country. Yes, you belong sir. to this Lincoln. Yes, I'm sir. there or I'm not there. Yes. Yes. This is your home forever. Yes. So you have to find your place within Asia. You have to have existence. The question is the question is if I exist for what? If I exist for what? You know if I exist for what this one matter also like waiter what I got in the middle. So in this September, as we are approaching New Year, we have to add a refresh life. I will refresh it our lives. Praise the Lord. That is very important. You have to refresh your life, revive your life because you're going to another level. Fresh means new update. If your computer's not running well, what are you gonna do? You have to update that computer. Because it will bother you. It will be that correct Google, it's not popping up. And, and you pay your internet and everything. You get back. I need to refresh my computer and update my computer so I can move forward. Praise the Lord, somebody. Amen. Because I need to get some important information from my computer uh, right now. So you have to refresh your life. That is very important. Because I see sometimes in this community we are not moving forward. The center, the center, the center, and keep asking questions. The Lord told me, my age, you have to teach them about how to refresh their life, mm -hmm. how to revive their life. Mm -hmm. Because the Bible says we are not retained, but we are hid in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God, somebody. Amen. Praise God, somebody. Amen. Praise God, somebody. Amen. Are you tired? Are you tired? Amen. Amen. So it's very important. Fresh me in your day. So fresh perspective will mean we get to new update. View of the world and our place in it. And I'm okay, that's the issue of Harry and Dada. We said on the center, we're not moving forward. And other people are moving forward. And now we're starting to have a journey. So I need us to know that from this year, next year, we go to another level by the grace of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, somebody. The first place we are going to look at it today, as I read earlier, 2 Kings chapter 6, it is a very important verse from 13 to 17. The king of Aram was at war with Israel. War is a very terrible thing. For those who experience war like we do, I don't know if it's a bad thing, but I don't know if I experienced that myself while growing up. Because you don't want to die. Sometimes they don't experience war. But for those who were born in South Sudan, we experience war with the real one. Praise the Lord. I don't think if you had a war with Duba, and then uh, my father is struggling to take us from uh, Munuki, Le, 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 and the SPL was coming. We were struggling. Matara, Jerry, Jerry, Ukuru, Because you don't want to die. Praise God. You don't want to die, you want to live. So we were struggling right away. So war is a very dangerous thing. A state of armed conflict. That's what we're talking about here. Between different nations. Don't have a lot of in the He stayed with the same Shaka that's the thing of Khartoum because they don't want to get killed because of Ajaya. Like in Allah, she's thinking that Ajaya will be used to another one. Ajaya will get killed. 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 
Nanya can do whatever at the wall. So, how do you do this? But for me, we are not dying, oh, praise God. The Bible says we are here to live, not to die, but He declared the grace of all might. Who does not come be able to win? You will see grace. Don't bother yourself. My mama is going to get confused, or get it out of your window. Each higher than the halo. Part of half no girl you know, half of grandma and girl you That's what you have to know. Freshness every day. Because I know God created me for his own in the commandments. I look like God, my dick is tired. Look! I'm a noise maker. I don't just say anything. I make noise big time. I'm even a fire asthma. I will get the asthma. If they don't know you sooner, this, they will know it through me. Because I make noise beyond anybody. I can't have noise if I don't like it. You wake up in the morning. What's the money? What's happening? Wake up! Amen. 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 <laughs> Praise God. Change is a place whereby we teach ourselves. And we have fun too. Kenisha is not supposed to be boring place, hallelujah. Yes. But at the same time, I'm not an entertainer. I'm a, I'm a man of pressure. I entertain you and I tell you the truth. Mm. The king of Aram was a war with Israel. Every move the king of Aram made, the Israel had war on his The Syrian is planning to destroy Israel. As you see again today, there's some evil ones trying to destroy you. This king here is trying to destroy Israelite, and in the same time, God is revealing what that king is planning against his children. Anything enemy is planning against you, God will reveal it to you. Amen. Sound hallelujah, somebody. God will reveal it to you. That king was planning to destroy the children of Israel. You are sitting here, you are choosing children of Israel. God has free you indeed to worship him. But at the same time, enemy is doing his job. He said, those guys are having fun there in Lincoln. I need to come and destroy them. But God Almighty will reveal the secret to us. And he said to us to prepare for that kind of war. Because it is a spiritual war. It is not against flesh and blood, but it's against principalities. You are fighting the enemy you don't see. You are telling the enemy you don't see. They see you very clearly. How is he going to deal with him? You're not going to deal with him physically, but he's spiritually shall handle somebody. Amen. It's spiritually. And that's what was happening here. These people of Israel, they have a prophet. The Arab king thought there was somebody in the camp telling Israel that he's black. You know, sometimes people will think maybe Philanus must still be careful. I'm not giving this Muhammad, I'm going to sit in up. Like if Philanus must still be careful. Hallelujah. Mm. That officer told the king, he said, King, 
My Lord, it's not anybody within us, but that Israelite prophet Elisha is a problem. You know, as a woman of God, man of God, may you be a problem to the devil. Amen. May you be a trouble to the enemy. Amen. May the enemy feel the pain. Yes. You know that word? There's a real woman of God in Lincoln. There's a real man of God, the prophet of God is in Lincoln. You know, those days we have a lot of prophets around here. Don't believe in anybody. Believe in those who God is using. Praise the Lord, somebody. Amen. Are you sleeping, somebody? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That was happening here. This guy came to kings. No, no, no. No inspired you nothing. But there is a prophet of God in this town. That is very crucial. Prophet of God, okay. And then Elisha knew every move uh, they would make. Because God told him what was going on. God always will tell you what is going on. But we have to stay connected with God. Praise the Lord. Amen. I was going to be glad to get in. Philip the fella, that's the Hebrew Ramana. Let me serve you another one as well. You guys know you love God. Hallelujah. Amen. And I see that. And I pray for you every day of my life. Amen. I pray for each and every one of you. And I will say, Would you name a fast? Would you hate my rabbi? I know sometimes it's not easy for all of us. And I want you also to pray for your pastor. Hallelujah. Amen. Pray for your pastor. Because the days are able to have to resist the enemy, the enemy will flee from us. Right there, King was so confused when he heard about Elisha uh, movement. So uh, the issue here is very clear, very crucial for us to pay attention to it. Uh, the king of Aram said to find out where Elisha is. Because King is furious, he's mad now. He wants to know where Elisha is. Because if you're bothering me, I have to go and get you so I can silence you. Then you don't make no more noise. And he sent his people to get Elisha. And you see what happened here. After that, I'm going to talk with They found Elisha at Dalton. Dalton is a, is a town where by the, the prophet of God was living. And the king of Arab sent a bunch of troops and chariots to get one man, Elisha. Mm -hmm. Because you are so powerful, you are so strong, woman, man of God. Now that king of the wicked one. And sending his children and his soldiers entire platoon to go and get you. Because they know if they get you, they will silence you. Now you will never do what uh, God is revealing to you. Mm -hmm. And he just said, oh, bring it on. Praise the Lord. Amen. Bring it on. Mm -hmm. That is your message to enemy. Well, I'm going to shake that from here. Matak, Matakunzor Hawaf. Praise the Lord. Amen. Never be coward once mm -hmm. dealing with the enemy. Mm -hmm. You have to be a strong woman of God, a strong man. Well, Stay firm. Never allow enemy to shake you. Mm -hmm. If you allow enemy to shake you, that will be the end of you. Mm -hmm. Enemy will come. That they shall talk to you. Like you have to stand your ground. Amen. Say enemy, bring it on. I will destroy the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Because the one that lives in you is more stronger than the one lives in the world. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. The one lives in me is more stronger than the one lives in the world. Mm -hmm. And that's why you see me in Lincoln. I don't move wickedly. Mm. I move is strong like a man. Yes. Because I know the one who sees me is more stronger. Mm. I will never escape any man. And stop it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just stop it. Mm -hmm. Amen. And stop it. Yeah. Because I'm doing something wrong. Mm -hmm. And stop it. Mm -hmm. stop it. Mm -hmm. Because if I don't tell you that, you will mess up the town. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Who wants someone to mess up his family? No. His community, his country, his, his I mean, like, change. He started that, you know, when I was in Iraq as a soldier, in the Yaf Takida, I just forgot Oak of the Arab. The Arab, you know, the Arab, you know, the Lakhwa, the Sirah, the Oak of Oak. Because I have a rules of engagement. I mean, I don't know that very well. Rules of engagement. Mazay, I'll stop and I'll see good rules on Rules of it, four rules of engagement. It's about the Mosura de Shoe, the Bulo of you, Tarfatani, Mutarfatani, Tarfahena Koroe, or the Rules of engagement. Rules of engagement. That's serious. You don't just shoot human beings like that. You have to have rules of engagement. We've got to have rules of engagement. Praise God, sir. This is very important. Go and get Alicia. Troops and all the soldiers. 
Elisha saw what saw what was happening, mm. and naturally he was scared. You know, sometimes in the churches, I'll help a little bit. You see. sometimes in the churches, mm -hmm. you will see we have some sermon, woman of God, man of God. You get scared too. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. But that will never be a portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. They get scared yes. because I've seen something. The storm is coming. The yes. storm of life is coming. Mm -hmm. yeah. ay, 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 ay. Amen. Sending soldiers in chariot. I didn't know the Baba guy. Mm -hmm. With the white, you would think, no, it's over with it. Let me run. Mm -hmm. Let me run. Yeah. Let me run. Yes. Ooh. He is a man of God, working with the prophet of God. Mm -hmm. Ran from there saying, My Lord, mm -hmm. we have an issue. Elisha said, what is the issue? He said, the king of Aram mm -hmm. sent the soldiers who started to come and get us. Mm -hmm. We are not going to make it. We are going to die. Mm -hmm. That is the spirit of cowardness. That is the spirit of fear. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, I never give a spirit of fear, but of power and love and sound mind. Praise God, somebody. Yes. Sound mind, power. Mm -hmm. I will use my power if it's needed. Mm -hmm. I will use it. Now, we get into trouble, but we don't have the way out. Exit. Yes. You get into trouble, but you don't know how to get out. Mm. But I will pray for you tonight. Once you get in trouble, you have to find the exit. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. Don't get into trouble and you don't know how to get out. Mm -hmm. If I find myself in trouble, my brothers and sisters, I will make sure I find the exit. Yes. The buildings are not even this building here. It's a very huge building. You see exit there, right? Yes. Oh yeah. You see that? Oh right. That is what we got. Find exit for yourself. Mm -hmm. You get in this building, you got to find exit to get out. Mm -hmm. If you don't know how to get out, that is your problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, so those kind of stuff. I feel like oh, you don't do You know what to be that person. You get in and get out. Shout out to somebody. Get in and get out. Yes. Tell your neighbor, never get in and get out. Yes. You know, sometimes people are going around you. Why don't you find the exit? <laughs> <laughs> we teach you in the church to find the exit. Yes. We teach you to be bold enough yes. to find the exit. Yes. Don't be staying there, stuck in the, in the building, and then you don't want to get out. And you keep crying. You're going to have to get in and you're going to have to have time. Maybe I went to Africa and then you will be stuck in there. Who is going to get you out? Praise God. Amen. But who will get you out? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now the king, Elisha, was there sitting. And then here they were. Him and Elisha against the huge army that is coming against them. There was nowhere to go and nowhere. There was nothing. They were good as dead people. Mm -hmm. So listen here very good. So the servant tells Elisha, God, Elisha, God, to me. What he says, had a while. But Elisha answered. Elisha answered the servant. With this in the king, second king 6, 16 there. But yourself in that servant's place. I want to put yourself in that servant's place today, as we're sitting here. We also talk about the Hadith. She can hold her can over. This is He doesn't know what to do. Don't forget, can any higher town. We are done. We are dead. Like in Hadi, the Karabara, the Lukhabar, the Zorde. Hallelujah. The Lukhabar, the Zorde. God, but Elisha pray for his servant. Send him like in Hadi, the Dab. Is there two situations that I have to have the Dab? Let him send him like the Dab. Praise the Lord. Send him like the Dab. Salawat Mohim. I said, Kira Kitab, you must send him like the Dab. Son of that's very, very important. Elisha is said to pray and pray for his servant. And God does, and the servant gets new perspective right there. Praise the Lord. Yeah. All the situation, new perspective. Because he was confused, but now as Elisha prayed for him, he got fresh perspective. Yeah. That is something that I want to say. Just alone, but think well, God is there with you. Amen. 
God is there. I will never leave you. I will never forsake you until the end of age. Praise the Lord. God will never forsake you. It's a lot of good that everyone's lover. But I'm going to shake that. To me, sometimes it's a big parabola. Where the parabola is going, you have to have a strong faith in that one. A strong faith in that one. Never let it go. How do you want to hide it in the shroom? What if I don't know what to do? I can't hide it from the end. He doesn't know what to do. We all have a storm in this life. A storm can come in your family. A storm can come as a sickness. If someone can come in your workplace, if someone can come everywhere, anywhere you go, because the devil is doing his job. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to be sick. Hallelujah, somebody. Mm -hmm. You have to be strong. And if you pray to God, will open the servant's eye. God does it. God is right there with them. It was going to be all right. Tell your neighbor is going to be all right. Say, your neighbor is going to be all right. And now, I should be linking that we will celebrate you. Hallelujah. Amen. And we will celebrate you, praise the Lord. Amen. We don't want to leave you alone. Hallelujah. We will celebrate your life. We will celebrate your marriages. We will celebrate your achievements. We will celebrate your children. Hallelujah. Amen. Most days. We will celebrate the Yalata Puerto. It's a general. The time of the Tamara, the Waya, she did that. So, what is actually it again? Come from before. Praise God. Amen. We didn't test the Yalata Puerto. Look at Latinos want to even go because they know how that pain is. Yeah. That pain will make you to be stronger today. Mm. Hallelujah. Now the man has to tell you, give us a boy yet after the day. Now God say, woman will give a boss with a pain. I said, get a car, I'm going to say, that's the next one. Wow. 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 It is hurt, but I mean, it is scriptural. It's a lot of water, but it really makes sense. This is a scriptural. Who does it not have a dollar in the way? She will not have a dollar Let me try. Let me try. You know, let me try. You know, what is that? Give us that way. Dad, I'm too poor. Because this is what God gets. This is a portion. La bata brako lo tofare, ena ko tofare. La bata brako lo tofare, ena ko tofare. You know what I mean? That that's not the real thing. La bata brako lo tofare. Ya wole tofare na kama kash magzari. Hallelujah, somebody. Praise God. You know we're so proud of our mothers. Hallelujah, somebody. God is so good. You guys are so strong. You guys are strong. Hallelujah. Now see, we need. The same new perspective as a leader, servants needed. Because it was a crisis, but he was waiting for that. We need a fresh perspective today as a church on God's presence. And not the of Rabana, we need a fresh perspective. How many times have you felt like a leader servant? We are going through trials here. Now. People are dealing with a lot of issues here. But you know, sometimes you go through that trial, you're not alone. God is there with you. You need a good sister, good brother, bad brother, so they can come and pray for you so God will open your eyes. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Because sometimes we're blind. The Bible says, but the man is blind all this time. Yeah. But when Jesus was passing by, he started to realize yeah. there is power passing by here. Yeah. Who is this Jesus of Nazareth? Yeah. Jesus, help me. Yeah. I have an issue here. Yeah. Cry to that Jesus. Yeah. They will see you through the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. Your eyes will see again. Yeah. You will have a fresh perspective again in the mighty name yeah. of Jesus. Shall have you something? The world seems to be falling apart, falling down. I don't matter if you go, the matafta, what the news, you see different things are happening. You see problems are happening. You say this and this and that is happening. I was watching the Queen of England just passed away a couple of days ago. You know, she was queen for 70 years. But at the end of the day, guess what? She left this benefits. She wanted to be with her. She was queen for 70 years. Seven decades, but until then she left. How can the Easter Umrah come for Hayale? Let's have you get objection. Like in hand, you have a fresh perspective. In Rabbana Fatayana, the Takis, the Shuf, the Beef, the Aswal, the Hanos. Now you have to see clearly. Praise the Lord, somebody. Your family life goes from bad to worse sometimes. You see from from worse to bad, and you cannot believe. Why me? Those are the questions we keep asking. Leah! Why not somebody else? Why me? Like you have a like, once you're connected with God. God, the Israel, the man, 
Muskele waka, Moses become a leader to free children of Israel. Kati yata masirei kanduluma na kiti yata raba na mungu. Praise God. Egyptian was in the darkness, but Israel was having fun under the sun right now. And I believe that will be a point in the mighty name of Jesus. God will never allow anyone to command you. You are kids just taking one wrong step after another. Into ena kiyano wili tumtada kuchu kiyano kuso baraka le medina le bele le mutama yokuian mashallah fi mustawa ali jidin. It's like you want to see your kids become those kind of people, but you see them taking wrong step to another step, which is more worse than the other one. It may be you can ask him, why are those things that keep happening to me? And I'm sure you must have learned. Your boss just keep pushing you further and further. You know, I struggle sometimes. We are migrants here from America. We suffer so. It's a terrible problem. Lack of language. English is mass. It's a terrible problem. It's a terrible thing. So we have to learn here. We have to struggle. We have to learn there. They will push you from Mahalo to Mahalo Patar. You will never see where your promotion is coming from. But I will trust God. That will wash you. That will see through the magic of Jesus. Our people are struggling because you don't want your bill to be late. You don't want a bill to be late. Yeah. Bills keep coming like salary. Now it's not. You see, the doctor seems to have absolutely no good news for you. The machine that you told me, muscular, mara, shunu, you cannot even find your head. Arabah, muscular, shunari. Those questions are going now. We struggle with it. There's no way out of this. I'm going to crumble. Those are the questions popping up in our head. And the colors are getting into head. And all this, I am not going to make it. I pray that you will open. God will open your eyes in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord, somebody. They will go to Allah. But how much can we tell them before they move out of the car? Hallelujah. Once you go through this trial, never give up. It's your God. He stand there. Stay there. God a promise. God has a promise. He would never leave us or turn away from us. Praise the Lord, somebody. God is always with us. Our problems is we spend too much time looking at the enemy and think about what enemy might do for us. Sometimes, as I said, we focus on Kalanta Rabana. You just think about what enemy is doing against you. You are not focusing what God will do for you. Hallelujah. Now, keep from now today. I want to encourage you. You have to look from the perspective that Rabbi Nehemiah had a voice to have that. He knew God's voice to have that. Hallelujah! Amen. Praise the Lord, somebody! Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. God is always with us. Our problems we spend too much. Sarah Caleb, just thinking about the bliss. As God to open our eyes to the nation of Amen. We want God to let you and me to be close to Him. Praise the Lord, somebody! Amen. Ask God to give you a fresh perspective on His presence. Amen. Presence of God Almighty. Yeah. You got to have that fresh perspective. Mm -hmm. Standing there before God. Whoever I have come so far with you, not to fail me, but to make me a great woman and a great man of God in this town. Yes. So I can be a light of the world in the soul of those. Praise the Lord. Amen. Secondly, as I'm winding down, we need a fresh perspective on our usefulness. Sometimes you look at yourself that you're useless. You are not important anymore. And I find that that's true. The Kerab and Al-Khala get the reward of finding that you. Praise the Lord. I might not know as a pastor, but God knows. Find that that's true. To God in you. Hallelujah. So many Christians don't think they have what it takes to be used by God. She gets up to the last people be asked. Not be asked. I can't say that you don't know that you. I can't say that you don't know that you don't know that you don't know that you don't know. Kena kwa kula kwa kijeni sana, fima kato umahati, praise the Lord. Fima kato shabafi, fima kato Sunday school. Lasa na kesi trawuli ya kwenye kanisa Susan na, she's teaching those Sunday school. We need Sunday school teachers. We need women officers. Fima kato kile malau, makato shabafu kwa yeye na we need people to come and see. We will make sure we train you so that you will be strong leader in your own community, in your own family, in your own country. Praise the Lord. Learn we're here to train each other. The Gibana put a get a selling, put a rabana, the letter the first and woman tell my Julia get a selling like a Kelly. Arama Madras and African Osa. Nasa Jerry to put the shooter, they got training just like we do. We're all here. This is them hunter training. 
Amen. Amen.